Check out this beat. All right, all right. If you mix, then you know that this is way out of mix. Like, it's just horrible. The brass at the bottom is too low. That should be louder. The kick and the snare. I mean, if one thing's out of balance, then a lot of things are out of balance. So what I've done was I took the mix monolith and I put it on the brass and I saved it to a preset where I have calibrated where I like my brass. And I like my brass at around 20 luffs. It's, it, if it's urban, the things at the bottom need to be prominent. They need to be out front. So that's where I put that. I did the same thing with the kick, MPC kick, and I gave it its own. I calibrated that. So I did everything. And then I just messed the mix up on purpose for this demonstration. So. Once you tell each track what the monolith is working on, then all you do is first you got to make sure that all your tracks are at unity gain. This um, ox is not. That has nothing to do with the monolith right now. Everything, put it at unity gain. Put the monolith at the bottom. Make it the last plugin that you use and just simply all channels, hit learn, play the track, play it all the way through to at least past all of the transitions and the different parts. When the parts repeat, then you don't have to play anymore. So the violin is new when it comes in. And now we're good. We hit mix and check this out. Well, now watch the transition. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby, baby. You, you got to get this plug in. Now all you have to do is do your little tweaks. Like when the, when the kick plays, I want the... I want the big brass to go down. So I go to the kick track and I go down here to send instead of receive. And we are going to give it. Oh, kick toms. OK, we have it. Kick snare tom. You can usually title it. So if I wanted to title this kick, well, you can title it. Title it kick. Boom. Then I go down to the monolith that's on the big brass and I hit that's on. I'm going to put that on receive and then I'm going to receive from the kick. And so now there's the kick. I want to put the threshold down and I want the kick to go down like three dBs, maybe four dBs, but I needed to be heard. So there it is. There it is. So it's ducking and so now the kick is prominent. So this is going to shave so much time off of your mixing. If you are a beginning mixer, you'll get so close and all you have to do is learn the tweaks. If you are an advanced mixer, you will already be able to hear what you need to do. Um, countless tracks and fast tracks if you if you do music for tv and film and they need something in two hours or three hours and you haven't written the track yet write the track put the monolith on it boom send it out this is a must-have <laughs>